Now if we switch to the Automations tab, we can see what automations we currently have. Of course, the toggles here allow you to activate or deactivate any of your existing automation. So let's click the plus button and we can see what we can define for an automation. Of course, at the top, we want to give it a name. Then we want to define what triggers our automation to start. That is under the win category. So let's click the plus button here and we can set either a schedule where the automation will run at a particular time of day. So we can either set a specific time or we can set a number of minutes before or after sunrise or before or after sunset. Then you can select which days of the week it repeats on or you can select the device action. This is going to choose to react when one of your other devices changes state. So for example, on a door sensor, you can select if the door gets opened or closed, or for something like a leak sensor, you can see if water is detected or when water is no longer detected. And if you have a temperature device, you can also set a low or high temperature alert or low or high humidity alert based on the thresholds you set up before. Next, we have the then section. This is where we can define specifically what we want to happen when our automation is triggered. This is very similar to the scenes. So we have all the same options as we had before. Now, one of the nice things about the way the Yolink app handles automations is you can actually set up multiple tiers of if statement. This means that you can have something triggered. In this example, if our temperature sensor shows a low temperature alert, but we also wanna see if something like the garage door is open, we can check that here as well. So the plus button here, we'll go to filter, and then we'll say set condition. We're gonna check device, and we're gonna see if our door sensor is open or closed. So if it's open, then we'll continue going on with our automation. So as we can see right here, we have this continue if condition is met. We hit plus, any action under this one will only happen if the door is open in this specific case. So then I can click notification, and I can come up with a custom message. Now, anytime, our temperature humidity sensor shows a low temperature alert and our garage door is open, we'll get a notification. 